Check this out. Joe Kovacs, a proclaimed Christian author who is frequently promoted on World Net Daily, said when speaking of the shepherds that visited Jesus when he was a babe in the manger, he said that these shepherds are going to return, not just in the event in the past. The shepherds are going to return in the future, he said. And then he said, because anyone who shepherds God's people is a teacher of God's people, and the shepherds are going to be resurrected. And then he shares a twisted version of Jeremiah 3.15 from a bogus Bible called the Christian Standard Bible in the article, so as to make it appear Jeremiah speaks of shepherds instead of actual pastors, like the King James says. What Joe Kovacs is doing here is actually cultivating the mindset that accepts his bold anti-Christian theology. For if one trusts the real Bible, such lies will never harm the obedient people of God. For we know Jesus clearly taught that the elect cannot be deceived. Had Joe gone line upon line and precept upon precept as the prophet Isaiah declared as the proper method of doctrinal definition, he would not have declared something that is so easily proven false. But here's something else Joe is completely unaware of. What he says is actually true, but not in the way that he would hope. What I mean is, if those so-called shepherds do appear in the coming months, they won't be resurrected by God to do so. They will be actual demonic manifestations acting like those shepherds, or even some that were known to be saints when they died, or even the apostles themselves. These demons are going to do whatever they need to do. But if you understand what the Bible says about the state of the dead, as I share on this page, as well as a few videos, then you'll know for a fact it will be demons and not the shepherds of 2,000 years ago, nor will they be dead saints or even the apostles that will soon be popping up all over the world. It was prophesied that only those in bed with Satan are going to be preaching such extra-biblical falsehoods. That's exactly what Joe Kovacs is doing here. In fact, it was prophesied in 1875 and again in 1844 that actual demons will be appearing as dead saints apostles, and even sinners to convince billions into accepting the lies these demons spew so as to cause all of them to be unready for the return of Christ. What we're seeing here has been a confirmed prophetic fulfillment for quite a few decades already. See this very short video I made about this about three years ago. Joe Kovacs is sadly being used by Satan to escalate this final agenda directly before the return of Christ, and rightly so, since everything is already set in place as we speak to enforce the mark of the beast. And so, Satan is about to do something that if you're not one to study the Bible daily, you will most assuredly be deceived and die along with everyone else in his charred trophy case when the plagues of Revelation fall upon you. Now for the clincher that shows that which Joe Kovacs said was in fact prophesied to happen right before Jesus returns. And for those of you that may not realize Ellen White is actually a prophet, perhaps what she said well over 100 years ago will help some finally see the prophecy of Joel chapter 2 verse 28 come to light right before your eyes. She said this back in 1875, Satan is a cunning foe. And it is not difficult for the evil angels to represent both saints and sinners who have died and make these representations visible to human eyes. These manifestations will be more frequent and developments of a more startling character will appear as we near the close of time. And then in 1844, she said he, and she's talking about Satan, has the power even to bring before men the appearance of their departed friends. The counterfeit is perfect. The familiar look, the words, the tone are reproduced with marvelous distinctness. Many are comforted with the assurance that their loved ones are enjoying the bliss of heaven, and without suspicion of danger, they give ear to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. She also said, moreover, the apostles, as personated by these lying spirits, are made to contradict what they wrote at the dictation of the Holy Spirit when on earth. They deny the divine origin of the Bible and thus tear away the foundation of the Christian's hope and put out the light that reveals the way to heaven. Today, we know that millions, if not billions, already believe the dead can speak or even appear from the grave. And so the timing 
is perfect for Satan's final lies to be embraced by all those refusing to believe the truth presented by the Word of God. What Joe Kovacs is doing here is setting the stage for what the Apostle Paul said will happen to those that hate the truth as it is written in God's Word. Paul said in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 11 and 12, And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And just so you know, no, I am not a Seventh-day Adventist. In fact, I expose their long prophesied fall into the hands of Rome on this website in great detail, with studies, general conference doc files, pictures, videos, and even Spirit of Prophecy quotes. Ellen White tried to warn the Seventh-day Adventist leaders, as well as the people in the pews, that their church was becoming a sister to fallen Babylon. Notice many statements of her that you simply will not hear in most Seventh-day Adventist churches today. And to answer the question that since I am not SDA, why is it I declare Ellen White to actually be a prophet? Well, when you get time, check out this page on my website, wherein I share what I discovered when I looked into her and her writings decades ago when I first heard about her. And then, if you are the type that would like to see many prophetic statements that she made regarding what will happen after she died, and she died in 1915, well, then you need to check out this growing list of documented fulfillments of her statements on this page. Thank you for watching. God bless.